In this video, I am going to show you how to build a highlight table in Tableau. So, in this video, I'm actually I'm just going to show you which airports and which carriers have the highest wait time. So, to do that, I'm going to take my measure, which is minutes of delay per flight, and I'm going to grab it and put it on text. All right, and then I'm going to click it and press Ctrl to copy it and drag it to color. As you can see right now, it is highlighted for, to, for this to be a highlight table. Make sure you choose square from the drop down. If you forget to choose square, from this drop down then you are just going to get a highlighted text so click on square now the background is highlighted as opposed to, to the text itself and now I'm just going to take um, airport carrier name and then airport name maybe I'll switch this up a bit okay so now this is showing us some but i don't want some what i want is the average so i'm going to change the aggregation method to average and also change the aggregation method here to average all right so now what we are looking at is the average wait time per flight for the different flights now i want to really really highlight flights and um, um, carriers and airports that has a flight delay an average flight delay of let's say more than an hour and i'm going to change this into entire view to make it a little bit easier to see and let's go here let's go on color or we can edit the color from here and I'm just going to choose I'm going to choose red blue white I'm going to choose red blue white diverging and since I want to show airport that has a delay delay flight of actually let's make it 25 minutes why not or 30 minutes let's just make it 30 minutes I want to highlight airports and carriers that has an average flight delay of more than 30 minutes and to do that I'll go to advance and I'll center at 30 and from here you can see your changes even before you click OK if you just click apply you'll be able to see your changes and quickly you can kind of see that SkyWest Airline from Newark Liberty International has an average flight delay of 23 minutes. And everybody else has a high average flight delay. And then you have Minneapolis and Alaskan Airline. So let's change it to let's maybe make it higher and let's say make it 45 minutes. Now we can um, see even more of our data, right? Or let's uh, let's make it um, sixty minutes. Now this looks even more interesting, right? We could really, really, really see which airports and which carriers has a really high average flight delay time, like Pinnacle. And from Charlotte's airport has a really high flight delay time while um, other airports like SkyWest from Newark or um, Alaska from Minneapolis you know they have um, a lower average flight delay time but um 
this is how you build a highlight table in Tableau. And highlight tables help you to quickly visualize um, some things in your data. Now, most times you won't be using a highlight table, but there are some, some times when they come in handy. And if you have to create a highlight table, this is how you do it. You could use other, and it, it could use um, different measures for color and label, but you have to be very careful how you do that to not confuse your end users. So you could take number of lights and put it in color, you know, and then if you highlight over it, it to tell you the number of flights. And let's say we want to highlight, let's say we want to highlight, um, let's use red, green, diverging. We want to highlight airport that has 50,000 flights. We want to center it at 50,000. Okay, maybe a hundred thousand. Ooh, so most airports has um flights that are less than a hundred thousand, and maybe let's set it to ten thousand. Now you can you know play around with it and stuff like that. So. That's basically it. That is how you create a highlight table in Tableau. And just to recap real quick, you drag the measure that you want, in this case minutes per flight, into the text. You can use the same one for color. Control click and drag it to color. Control click makes a copy of it. From drop down, make sure you choose square and then take your dimensions into the columns and row panel. That's it for this video and I'll see you on the next one.